Apportionment is really just the way companies need to divide up their income among different states. If you are a local grocery store and you only have one outlet and you're only doing business in that one state, it's fairly simple. All your income gets apportioned to that one state or gets sourced to that one state. That state gets to tax 100% of your income. If you're a large multi-state business or doing business across state lines, you need to figure out how much each state can tax of your income. Obviously, each state cannot tax 100% of your income or you'd be out of business fairly quickly. The way you divide up your income among the various states is through two methods. One is through allocation, the other is apportionment. Allocation is just taking specifically enumerated items and specifically sourcing them to one state or another. So things like interest or maybe a capital gain from a sale of a piece of real estate may get specifically sourced or allocated to a particular state. Generally, the vast majority of your income, your business income, gets split up among the states through some sort of formula, and that's what's known as apportionment. Historically, apportionment was done through an evenly weighted three-factor formula, consisting of property, payroll, and receipts. That formula worked great when we were a goods economy, selling tangible personal property and such. Over the past several decades, we've obviously become much more of a information economy or an intangibles economy. As a result of that, states have moved away from that evenly weighted three-factor formula and have moved to a single-factor formula based solely on receipts. 